Hello, and welcome to Bad at Board Games. My name is Brad Blake, and I'm Bad at Board Games, so you don't have to be. Today we're going to be talking about my 10 worst rated games, and games I don't want to play again. And we're going to go from 10 to 1, and uh, we had Best of Star Trek. You can thank him for this list. He recommended it, and uh, see see what my worst 10 Games I don't want to play again are. I'm, I might be persuaded to play one of these, maybe, again. But uh, they didn't did not hit the mark the first time, and I really don't want to try them again. So we'll try to get through this quickly. We'll see how this works. So number ten, I think this is preference. Um, some people like this. this is a very easy game. <clears throat> it's probably more why I'm like just don't want to play it again. Um, is here to slay you know it's a little turtle tea game um that you can pick up with the shirts and i rated that a five out of ten on bgg it's cute um but it's just not not challenging enough or enough of a a game for me that i would like to play it again um number nine just kind of fell flat um with me and r and our kids or you're looking for like a harry potter theme game i don't think there's very many good ones out there and this would be like the best one that i'm aware of for harry potter is harry potter um hogwarts battle it's a deck builder and like toph loves it i gave it a five out of a ten and i think he thinks it's like an eight so it's definitely hit or miss depending on you know what you're into and how you like to play your deck builders and i think also you um, you know, my wife and her kids at the time just it wasn't it wasn't singing for them, so it makes it hard to to try to enjoy a game when three out of four people aren't enjoying it either. So take that with a grain of salt. But I will be avoiding that game in the future. Um, this one's an old game from 2010 from Fantasy Flight, Horus Heresy. This is probably one of my I don't know, but not my first, but like one of my expensive games. This was like a hundred, I want to say it was like, it was definitely over a hundred dollars, but it might've been 150. This was a big box, 40 K. And it was like the, the whole battle for Terra and you know, the emperor dying, but you didn't have quite that. It was just the, the battle. And it was kind of like risk where you had the Titans and, you know, troops of space Marines and tanks and the different things that you could have. And I thought it was going to be kind of like um, Epic 40K, but just on a board game version. And it really was disappointing. You know, I was really looking forward to having like the Titans and having these battles. And it really just ended up being, there's a Titan with three pips on it. And that has strength three versus a Space Marine that may have strength two. Like how they managed the battle and everything was uh, very disappointing. Um they just really didn't appreciate how they were trying to transfer that over to a board game. Um, so it was it was very disappointing when we ended up playing that. And that's a long time ago. Um, game of Thrones second edition. Um, I really, you know, every, most people got into Game of Thrones, including myself. And so I wanted a board game version of that. And we played it a couple times, but then it kind of, it just wasn't, I don't know. We, we found, like, after we played it a few times, less than five, we didn't want to play it anymore. Um, you know, it just, just became that. It's sitting on on the shelf of shame. I think I gave it away one of our first giveaways um, on the channel three years ago, but two years ago or whatever it is. But, yeah, it's it was just just really didn't, didn't hit well um, after the first couple plays. I rated it a five out of ten on the BGG scale. So that's number seven. Number six uh, is Jaws. Um, Ravensburger, I think, uh, made Jaws. And it's a hidden movement kind of thing. And, you know, got really hyped, wanted to play it. And it was just hard to get anybody to play it. <laughs> um, so that one I gave a, a 5 out of 10. I think it's good for the right people. Um, but it just wasn't able to get to the table very much. And then this game, to Loves, and I just... It was a top 10 BGG 100. I, I think it's still in the top 20, but it's Through the Ages by CGEs. It's their edition. Um, 
I really, really thought this game overstayed its welcome. It was way too long for what it did. Now, I appreciate the mechanics and what it's doing, but it needs to be like two hours or, you know, max three. I Tove swears it wasn't eight hours. I think we started at like noon and went till eight o'clock. So I disagree with him. We definitely have different uh, interpretations of how long that game took, but it took a lifetime to play. And I never... I'm not going to play that. <laughs> I give that a four out of ten. You know, it could be my one out of ten actually for me. I think, but it's not a, it's not a bad game. A lot of people think it's their number one game. It's good mechanics. There's things about it I can appreciate, but I don't appreciate the amount of time it takes to play. Um, then this one I've only played once, and I never want to play it again. And this is recent play, and played it on um, board game arena BGA, I think. And I, this is another game, like even on BGA, it was like really long and I would have hated to have played this in person. Um, Kalus, C-A-Y-L-U-S, like trying to understand what it was doing and how it was doing it. And I, I did not like this game. I rate it a two out of 10. <laughs> it's from 2005. I don't recommend going and looking it up. I don't recommend playing it. Well, there's probably somebody out there that likes it, and you it has higher than a 2 out of 10 on BGG, but definitely was horrible experience for me. Um, I might be a little bit hard on this next one. This is my number three, uh, Villagers. Now, they have a new Kickstarter or something. I think it's called Moon. I don't know if it's at retail or they're Kickstarting or whatever. People like this series of games and, like, set collection and stuff and some kind of chaining. Um, we didn't get it taught well i didn't enjoy the experience i just wanted it to be over kind of from like 10 minutes in and i rate villagers a two out of ten but i i pretty sure i'm in the minority because there's definitely a group of people that really like that game and well rated and all of this but it just i i didn't like it and you know that happens some games hit and some games don't um this next game I doubt many people have heard of. It was kind of like one of those games that when you're at a convention, you know, probably doesn't do well enough. So they're willing to send this game out to a bunch of people for the free to plays <laughs> or win to play. And it's called Bravo. It's like a roll and write, just little, it'd probably be good for kids, honestly. You know, you're trying to, you know, roll and write and stuff. And, you know, I'd rather my flipping rights be something like Hadrian's Wall than something that's, you know, made for 10 year olds and under and such. So, um, oh, villagers, I forgot. I give that a two out of 10. Um, Bravo, I, for me, is like a one out of 10. I, I feel like anybody could have made that game is just so basic. Um, and then my number one, hey, this is, how long is this video? This, this video is like less than 10 minutes. Look at me flying through all these. Um, it'd be a quick, <laughs> quick watch for you this week. Um, this was a Dice Tower, like, essential, or it had the seal of approval. This game is from 2003, and I absolutely disliked it. Um, appreciate the artwork, because the artwork's just from, you know, pieces, and you know, in museums and everything. But the theme did nothing for me. I know I thought it would be kind of cool, but it wasn't. Called Battle for Souls, um, and I absolutely hated that game from start finish it's my worst i don't know if there's going to be a game that is that matches that experience for me when we when we tried that one out <laughs> ever in the future maybe there could be a worse game for me but um that one hit the sweet spot for how horrible a game i think some games can become and i was still very surprised that like it had the dice seal of approval and all that i'm like how how can i like how can i hate this game this much <laughs> they like it at all <laughs> um anyway so what are some of your like most hated games or what's your number one most hated like you'll never you just hated the experience could have been the people you're with less to do about the game who knows um comment down below i'd like to know like to know what some of yours are <laughs> one of your experiences like could have been nemesis which is one of my favorites right <laughs> like i'll never play nemesis again that was horrible <laughs> But I'd really be interested in knowing what some of those horrible games that you had to sit down and play were or learn or just took way too long. You're like, I'm I'm out. <laughs> anyway, 
thank you for watching and have a great night. And just remember, no matter how you play, whether it's solo, with family, or friends, enjoy whatever you are bringing to the table. Have a great night.